So this is the trunk of my M3 and it looks pretty terrible, right? The previous owner took a pretty good job of the mechanics of the car but gave absolutely zero f**ks about the exterior and the trunk was the worst of it. So I'm gonna try and fix this as simply as possible using spray cans and should be a pretty straightforward job. So I got the trunk all sanded down, 320 to break it down, and then 600 to smooth out the 320s. There are some parts where I got down to the bare metal or past the uh, base coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of primer just so that the paint has something to stick to. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, quick update. I'm about two and a half cans into painting both the trunk and the side skirt. Uh, the side skirt, looking not bad. The problem that I'm running into is obviously with a larger panel on the trunk. So the issue that I'm having is this piece of shit that really did so well for the Miata. Not doing so well with these cans. It's just not pushing down the nozzle good enough, which causes the paint to splatter, which sucks a lot, but we're gonna keep trying and uh, do the best job that we can. All right, so I think the side skirt is done with base coat, so now we're gonna hit it with the 1K clear. You guys, I'm, I'm incredibly disappointed. No matter what I do, every time I try to fix it, the moment I try to spray a coat on, it just spits and ruins, uh, ruins the job. So I, I don't think there's really anything I can do. I'm running out of product. It's not the end of the world. I'm just gonna go ahead and just continue with the job, spray the clear on and just hope it, you know, looks okay. Let's see what happens because we really don't got any other choice. All right, so it's been drying for about 45 minutes. Normally they recommend about 30 minutes, but I gave it a little bit extra time because the temperature has dropped. Other than the splatter that I showed you before, the paint has actually laid down pretty smooth. So now we're gonna hit it with the Spray Max 2K Clear. Well, <clears throat> I managed to do it again. Just as the uh, 2K clear can started to run a little bit low, it spat up and got two huge drops on the trunk. Guys, I'm really struggling on this project. I have no idea why. Woo, so much fun. Okay, so we finished the painting job. Let me sit down for this. Ugh, I'm having a rough day, you guys. Ooh, okay, so we finished all of the painting on the trunk and on the side skirt, at least to the best of my ability. And I wanted to go over kind of the issues that I ran into and just kind of my overall thoughts about it. In terms of the side skirt, everything went good with the side skirt. The trunk was a problem, but not all of the trunk, specifically the horizontal edge. So the top of the trunk was where I was having most of my issues. And that's probably because of the angle. So with spray cans, they work fine, but they work best when they're obviously pointed vertically. The issue is when you start to tilt the cans, especially as you use up the can, you run a very high risk of spitting. Also, there's a lot more orange peel on the top of the trunk, again, because I can't spray completely parallel to the surface. And as a result, the paint doesn't lay on as smoothly as you would like. Okay, whew. 
So I've been spending a little bit of time on wet sanding and buffing the clear coat. And uh, I think it's turning out pretty good. So I wanna show you real quick, hopefully you can see this on camera, but the differences between the left side, which I have wet sanded and buffed, and the right side, which I left just as it was uh, after we finished spraying it. So you can see the light right there, looks pretty clear. Then if I just go ahead and drift to the non-treated side, and boom, you can kind of see that orange peel effect. Good. Bad. Good. Bad. Ideally, I would have liked it to just have shot on clearer, but it's okay. A little bit of elbow grease turned out pretty good. I think this is gonna. I think this is gonna work, you guys. I'm pretty happy with the results after the wet sand and the buff. It is a million times better than it was. The good news is this side right here, because it was a vertical side, actually went on pretty clear. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the way the trunk is turning out. All right, so while putting the whole trunk area back together, the uh, tail lights that were on the car just completely disintegrated themselves. Uh, and I tried to do a repair job and put them back together, but I totally botched that job up. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that as a divine sign to upgrade to some really cool uh, LED units that we have in here. So let's go ahead and uh, get these on. All right, so overall, it was a pretty difficult experience with all the problems I was having with the cans and the drips and everything like that. However, I wouldn't necessarily rule cans out. There's definitely a place for them. Uh, you just gotta know the limitations. For example, things that I would do differently. One, I would stick to cans if it was something like painting a side skirt or painting a fender. Vertical surfaces were a lot better to get the paint laid down smoothly and anything horizontal like a trunk or even like a hood would prove to be pretty difficult. Two, obviously you saw that I ran into issues with temperature and as the temperature dropped, the paint laid a lot more rough. Next time around, if I was in a situation like that, I would definitely warm up the cans a little bit more to get the paint a little bit warmer and hopefully that would lay it out a little bit smoother. And three, if I actually painted a lot closer to the panel and not so far away from the panel, it would probably also help lay the paint down a lot smoother. The problem I was having was that on the horizontal surfaces, like the top of the trunk, you can't really get that close to the panel and you really can't get that parallel to the panel because of how it is and how if you were to lean the cans over a little bit too much, it would start to splatter. But yeah, there's definitely some improvements that can be had uh, in my painting technique with cans. But again, overall, I'm pretty happy with how the trunk turned out. And you know, it looks way better than it did uh, when I first started the project. So I'm happy with that, I'll take it. So next we're gonna get the front lip and the rear deck spoiler on and also gonna polish the rest of the car once everything's fully cured in 30 days. And that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Peace.